I've got mail to go through with you. I love getting mail. Let's just jump right in because I can't wait any longer. Welcome to the junk room where we create whatever. Today it's all about the mail. I've already got things opened just to speed things up. Let's see, this one comes to me from Quebec. And if you've been watching any of my videos, you know that I participate in swaps through Facebook groups. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is from Christina. Thank you so much. Oh, these are so gorgeous. <gasps> And in my favorite colors, look at that. Look how tiny that is. Oh my goodness. All tucked in there. I'll have to make some of these matchbooks. Oh, here's another one with vellum. Nice. Oh, I never think to use sequins in my projects, but those are beautiful. Oh, look at that. Piece of ephemera. I love it. Oh, and then some extra little beauties here with the flowers. So pretty. Thank you so much. And some pieces of ephemera. I'm gonna have to use this in my purple journal. Whoops. And Christina has a shop where she makes these items and sells them. So I will track that down and put it in the description below. All right, this one comes from London, just up the, the road, 20 minutes. And this is from Michelle. Oh, and Michelle included her business card with this. So I'll just pop it up here so you can get that information. Thanks, Michelle. This is for the July Junk Journal page swap. And she went strawberries. My partner, I sent a uh, Canadian. I went all out on the Canadian theme. Oh, but this is beautiful. I love seeing people's work. It gives, gives you ideas of other things you can do. Like what a beautiful tuck spot. And a belly band. Right here's the belly band. Yep, I could even put something in there. And then a t side pocket with extra writing spot. Oh, this is so beautiful. I have nothing in my junk room doing with strawberries. So thank you very much. All right, this one. Oh, this one came from Lois in Indian Mound, Tennessee. Yes, okay. And this, Lois and I have been doing a private junk journal page swap. And I absolutely love, love Lois's work. Oh my goodness. Her and I have the same taste. The same kind of style. But we're taking a little break for the summer. And look, this pot, this envelope is made out of like parchment paper and then lace glued on it. That is so neat. Oops. And I don't have any of these tiny, tiny, tiny paper clips. Put that there. Okay, and that went behind this tuck. Oh, look at it. 
So our theme for this, this one was Vintage Ladies. Whoa, look at all this ephemera. This is really neat. She actually just glued a doily on here. And this is glued on. With a little key. And then she included pieces of ephemera. This is so cool. Thank you. Oh, and more. Look at this beautiful lace. So pretty. Oh, and some ladies. Is that a card? Nope, it's just nice and thick. Oh, beautiful. I'm a little excited. I hope I'm staying in frame. <laughs> Okay, so that was that one. And then this one, look at that. Just, just folded up paper and she glued it on there. And I love this paper ruffle <laughs> with the sewing down the center. So nice. Oh, this is still in the vintage lady themes. <gasps> look at that. Some lace there. Oh, and it's a tuck spot at the top of the page. Oh, look at that. I love it. Piece of ephemera. And a pocket down here with lace. Oh, look at this beautiful piece of ephemera. I don't know what it says, but it's really cool. That is beautiful. And then a triangle pocket on the back. With lots of goodies in here. Oh, a little booklet. Look at this. Oh, I love it. I'm going to be putting a journal together with all these pages that I've gotten through swaps. I just love that ripple. Thank you so much, Lois. Can't wait to do it again. And then this one is coming from, whoops, sorry, Nova Scotia. Ooh, that's in a nice, nice, pretty pouch there. From Jackie. Oh, look at these. These are the window pockets. Look, at, it's made out of an envelope with a window. Look at that. Love some sparkles. Oh my goodness, look, it's loaded. It's got a pocket here with a piece of ephemera. Oh, that's so cool. And then a little a little signature inside. So cute. And some tags. This is really nice. That is really nice. Oh, and this one. The horse one. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh. This one is loaded too with belly band. Oh, and a little brown paper bag and a coffee filter, tiny one. Maybe that's a cupcake holder or muffin. And oh my goodness. To put it down a little bit. Oh, it's got little, little something, something inside. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. That is adorable. Guest check. 
adorable. And then a, another pocket. Oh, there you go. Oh, thank you so much. Those are beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, that's the mail. Now, this is an order of some things that I got uh, for junk journal program at work uh, with the with the youth. It's from Stampin' Up. I'm, I don't buy a lot from them, but I thought, you know what? I'm going to get a couple of goodies and let's check it out. So this is not sponsored. It's just me um, helping out a friend that sells it and getting a couple of things. So let's take a peek. The paper is gorgeous. I can take the plastic right off. Look at that paper. And it's double sided. Oh, wow. Loving the purple. It's so pretty. I love coordinating paper. And you don't have to think about it. Nice. So, oh. It's so pretty. Look at that. Wow. I love that. This is the big, the big type of bubble wrap. Now, I, I, I took a peek in here and I had ordered this, not really knowing exactly the size of it, but this is a little uh, ticket punch. And oh my goodness. This is so cute. It's so tiny. I did this mini, mini Christmas journal in one of my previous videos. And I was struggling because I couldn't find something tiny, tiny that I wanted to fit in one of the pages. I got to show you how cute this is. Just grab a scrap piece of paper. Look at that. Look how tiny that is. Oh, and I can just do this. Look, make a little envelope. Tuck that right in there. <laughs> oh my goodness. It is so cute. I'm so glad I got this. I love it. It's going to go on uh, holidays with me and I'm just going to get some scrap paper and just punch, punch away. Now this one is a, a little different. I, I got it for the, the, to make tags, but let's see what the other ones do. Scrap piece of paper. So, oh, Gotta move the box. There we go. Look at that. That was my bad job of doing that. So it does the tag for those perfect, perfect ones. And then this one, let's see. Oops, don't think. Look at that. So there's that one, and then there's a fancy one. Let's see. Put that, put that down there. I hope I gotta put it down on the desk. Can you see where I am? Ooh, look at that fancy corner. Okay, that'll be fun for for the girls to using and they'll love this one too and then I got this stamp set because flowers they just you can use them any themed 
journal, I think. And then some inks. Black, because didn't have any black in the junk room. And then, let's get rid of the box. And I've never gotten a cut, uh, uh, emboss, cut and emboss from Stampin' Up. And the reason I got it is because we had uh, a big Sissix donated to us and only a few dies. So look at this one. <gasps> I'm excited to use this one. Look, it's got a little tag. It's got butterfly, two butterflies, one, two, and then these different floral pieces. And then these tiny little, little, I don't even know what you call those. But I, I love it. I can't wait to use this one. Yes, this is going to be great. That is my purchase for Stampin' or I mean from Stampin' Up. My favorite being this, this little fella right here and the paper. Mm, love the paper. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and don't forget to go play. Go play with your stash and have some fun. Shh.